Well, good day, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. All right, um, today I'm back at work, so I've nicked home quickly in lunchtime. Gonna throw on some um, dinner for tonight in the slow cooker, and I'm doing coca vin, um, which is uh, literally cockerel in wine. Uh, nice simple little recipe. I had one of the roosters crowing the other day, live in a suburban area, so I had to take care of that. And so today I have an ingredient for a recipe. So without any further ado, I've got to rush because I've got to get back to work. So we'll quickly throw this together and get in the slow cooker. Yeah, the part that's going to take the longest is we've got to reduce the wine. So I've got a nice heavy bottomed uh, saucepan. And this is obviously the bit I need to get on first. Now I'm using a Shiraz for this because I get it free at Christmas time. I generally get a bottle of this from one of the suppliers at work. Yeah, you know, ideally most recipes call for a Pinot Noir or something like that, but I've got the Shiraz, so that's what I'm using. So that's gonna go on and get reduced down. I wanna bring it down to about half. What we have here is some spec. Now I've spoken before about how horrid Australian bacon is. Uh, spec is a European one. As you can see, it's nice and smoked. It's not full of water um, like our bacon is. So for a cook dish like this, spec is much better than the bacon I'm gonna get at the store. Cut that down in a nice little chunks of lardons and we're gonna fry that up just to get some color on it. My other vegetables going in it, we've got five carrots, they're just gonna get chunked up, um, some shallots, uh, I've got five of those, I made sure I get, got some double bulbs and also some portobello mushrooms. I got three of those that picked those up from the shop. And I also have one shiitake, which is the only thing growing on my uh, mushrooms at the moment. So I grabbed the shiitake and that's gonna go in as well. All right, so uh, I'm gonna throw the bacon on and then we move on to This fella here. Um, now, I'm never gonna show processing on my channel. Um, I think there's more than enough sources out there that if you really wanna see it, you can go have a look at it, that I don't need to show it as well. Um, this guy was processed a couple of days ago. Um, and he's been sitting in the fridge, chilling out since then. Uh, you just want to let it chill for a bit in the fridge just so it loosens back up again uh, because straight afterwards it's all tightened up and it's no good to cook with. So we're just going to go through. And portion him up. As you can see, being a young cockerel, um, there's not a lot of breast meat there. Yeah, you know, that's fine. That's why it's a nice sort of slow cook thing. We don't want to do something fast cook because it'll, it'll end up tough. And this isn't a proper portioning by any means stretch of the imagination, but yep, that will do me. All right, so we'll head over and start cooking this stuff there. All right, we have the bottom of the slow cooker, bit of oil. Let's throw on those lard onto bacon or speck. I'll just brown this up for a bit and join you again shortly. All right, as you can see, we're getting some lovely color on that speck. So I'm trying to pull that out. using a slotted spoon so I can keep as much as possible of the grease in there. And in we go with our little cockerel. All 
what we're trying to do at this stage is just brown it up. So I'll leave that to brown up a touch and be back in there again in a second. I pick up a little bit of colour and I'm not looking to cook it through at this stage. Let's see how it that out. Back on with the bacon with it. Gonna go with our carrot and our salot. And also with our mushroom. The good thing about this recipe, especially when you're in a rush like I am today, is you're just chunking everything up and tipping it in there. Um, we're not looking for that fancy French um, fine dice and julienne and that sort of thing. This is a French peasant dish. It is just chop it up and toss it in. All right, so we'll let that mix around for a little bit. Um, we're picking up a wee bit of color on it. Um, Colored flavor. So I just want to pick up a wee bit of color. The mushroom soaking up all the oil and the bacon grease and that sort of thing. So let that mix around and then we'll go across to the slow cooker in a bit. Before we head across to the slow cooker is we're gonna season it up, which for me of course involves plenty of garlic, a couple of spoons of tomato paste, and garlic in the tomato paste, ideally you wanna cook the rawness out of them before you start slow cooking. Some salt. And some fresh cracked pepper. Okay. And that should just about take that rawness out. So from that. While we're over here, we may as well add in our reduced wine. Now, seeing how it's reduced, it's not going to have any alcohol left in it. Alright, now across the slow cooker we go. Okay, slow cooker's already on, set to low. Just to keep things rolling along. Now, here we go with our chicken and our bacon. Make sure it's all spread around. The last thing to add in is our stock. Now I'm just using a condensed stock today. Don't need a hundred percent cover everything. Just want a good dance. Looks like I might need to mix up a, a wee bit more. But basically that's where it is. As I said, I'll put in a little bit more stock. Um, and that's just gonna sit on low for, for seven hours. Um, so tonight, after I get home and come dinner time, it will be ready to go. Actually, I might just leave the stock level where it's at, um, and I'll adjust it when I get home tonight if I need to. All right, catch you guys in a few hours. Back home after work, and steam clear. Look at that, looking gorgeous. Okay, now we just need to thicken it up. So, let's do that. Okay, the thickening for this one is two tablespoons of flour. And two tablespoons of butter. Just need to mix two of those together. Is our thickening paste? And 
we're just going to stir that through. The butter will richen it up. And the flour will thicken it up. Having the two together means we're not going to get lumps. That needs about another hour of cook time just to thicken it up. So there we are, it is all done. Time to serve up. So, and some nice mashed potato with it. Come down to the all important taste test. A bit of mash, a bit of that beautiful white gravy. The chicken. Oh, and that is just absolutely delicious. So there we go, there's a beautiful cock of in. Um, you know, cockerel and red wine. Absolutely delicious dish. Thank you very much everyone for watching and bye for now.